to everyone. Myself, Dr. T. Daniel Rao, working as assistant professor in the Department of Chemistry. Today, I am going to teach about zinc air battery, its construction and working. In this video, I am going to cover what is battery, what is primary battery, what is secondary battery, and what is zinc air battery. First, before going to this uh, video, first we should know about battery. What is battery? Battery nothing but when two or more electrochemical cells are electrically interconnected. What is battery? When two or more electrochemical cells are interconnected. That is called battery. What is electrochemical cell? Electrochemical cell is a device which converts the chemical energy into electrical energy. It is called electrochemical cell. What is electrochemical cell? Electrochemical cell is a device which converts the chemical energy into electrical energy. Each electrochemical cell consists of two electrodes. One is anode and one is cathode. And it is these two electrodes are electrodes are immersed in the electrolyte solution. Okay now. So at anode oxidation takes place, at cathode reduction takes place. So it forms it will produce the electricity. So that is called electrochemical cell. What is electrochemical cell? Electrochemical cell is a device which convert chemical energy into Electrical energy. Electrical chemical consists of two electrodes. One is anode, other one is cathode. These two electrodes are immersed in a electrolyte solution. Okay, that is electrochemical cell. In battery, these type of electrochemical cells are two or more interconnected. When two or more these electrochemical cells are interconnected, that is called battery. Each of which containing two electrodes and an electrode light is called battery. Each electrochemical cell consists consist two electrodes and electrolytic solution. This type of electrochemical cells are two or more interconnected in the battery. The batteries are transferred into two types. Those are primary battery and secondary battery. The batteries are divided into two types. One is primary battery and second one is secondary battery. What is primary battery? These are non-rechargeable and more are meant for single use and discarded after use. What is primary battery? Primary batteries are non-rechargeable and it is used for single cycle only. After that, we can discard that. This is called primary batteries. What are the examples for primary batteries? For example, Leclanche cell or dry cell or zinc air batteries. These are comes under primary batteries. What is primary battery? Primary batteries are non-rechargeable and single purpose use. We can discard it after the use. That examples, examples for uh, primary batteries, Leclanche cell or dry cell or zinc air battery also comes under primary battery. Then secondary battery. What is secondary battery? Secondary batteries are these are rechargeable and are made for multi cycle use. You can use for multi cycle and after every use the electrochemical reaction could be reversed by external power supply. In the secondary battery the, the second reach it is rechargeable after uh, it can use for multi cycle use. After discharge we can recharge by applying external power that is called Secondary battery. Examples for secondary batteries are lead acid battery. Applica uh, examples for secondary batteries are lead acid battery and nickel cadmium cell. These are examples for secondary battery. What is primary battery? Primary batteries are non rechargeable and single purpose use. After use, you can discard it. What is secondary batteries? Secondary bat batteries are rechargeable. We can recharge uh, several times and we can use for several cycles. Okay, now this is called Secondary batteries. What are the example for primary batteries? Primary batteries example, Leclanche cell or dry cell or zinc air battery. These are example for primary batteries. What are the example for secondary batteries? Lead acid cell and nickel cadmium cell. These are comes under secondary batteries. See the differences between primary and secondary batteries. See the here we can see the differences between primary battery and secondary battery. In case of primary battery, these are non rechargeable and made for single use and to be discarded after use. Primary cells are non rechargeable and only single cycle we can use. After then we can discard in primary batteries. In case of secondary battery, these are rechargeable and meant for multi cycle use. In case of secondary batteries, we can use several times and it can be rechargeable. The cell reaction is not reversible in case of primary cells. In, in case of primary cells, the cell reactions are not reversible. Means only one, one type of uh, reactions takes place. Means discharging the type of reactions takes place in case of primary cells. But in case of Secondary cells, the cell reactions are reversible. While discharging one type of reactions it takes place, while charging other type of reactions takes place in case of secondary batteries. In case of primary batteries, the primary batteries are can't rechargeable. Okay, primary batteries are can't rechargeable, but secondary batteries are 
rechargeable okay the primary batteries are can't rechargeable the secondary batteries are rechargeable the primary batteries are less expensive compared with secondary battery the primary batteries are less expensive but secondary batteries are expensive okay for primary batteries are less expensive secondary batteries are more expensive the primary batteries can be used as long as the material are active in their composition in primary cells the active materials are there anode is there cathode is there electrolyte solution is there the primary battery works up to the the active material in their composition how much time it will there that much time the primary cells will be work the can be used for as long as the materials are active in their composition up to the uh, the material in the uh, primary battery active up to that uh, primary cell will be work in secondary in the second in the case of secondary battery it can be again and again you can recharge and you can use in case of primary battery only uh, up to the active material in composition uh, up to that time only we can use the primary battery but in case of secondary battery we can use several times we can after discharge we can recharge again and we can use for multi cycle purpose the example for primary battery sir leclanche cell and zinc air battery comes under primary cells what are the example for primary cells leclanche cell and zinc air battery these are comes under example for primary cells the secondary cells examples lead acid cell and lithium ion cell the lead acid cell and lithium ion cells are these are example for the secondary battery see now we are going to see the zinc air battery zinc air battery is comes under primary battery what is primary battery primary battery is non rechargeable zinc air battery is primary cell and non rechargeable battery zinc air battery is non rechargeable and it comes under primary battery zinc air batteries can be made for high rate applications zinc air battery is having large number of applications these batteries have short life time but high output these zinc air batteries have short life time but it gives more output in this zinc air battery the anode is zinc electrode the zinc electrode uh, zinc air battery the anode is zinc electrode what is cathode in the zinc air battery the cathode is porous carbon electrode means the carbon electrode contain several uh, pores on that surface that is called porous carbon electrode the anode is zinc air battery in zinc air battery the anode is zinc electrode and cathode is porous carbon electrode the electrolyte solution is potassium hydroxide see in zinc air battery anode is there cathode is there electrolytic cell so this type of electrochemical cells are uh, interconnected in the zinc air battery what is anode in this uh, zinc air battery is zinc electrode what is cathode cathode is porous carbon electrode and electrolyte solution is potassium hydroxide see this is the rough diagram of zinc air battery zinc this is anode and here this is the porous carbon it contain porous it allows the oxygen okay this is cathode the electrolyte solution is potassium hydroxide koh means potassium hydroxide the electrochemical representation of zinc air battery is like this first left hand side zinc and the electrolyte solution is koh means potassium hydroxide right side is cathode air and carbon carbon electrode see in electrochemical cell representation in left hand side we have to write the anode the anode here is zinc electrode so that's why i have written and left hand side the koh is electrolyte solution so in middle i have written koh potassium hydroxide formula and the right hand side we have to uh, mention the cathode cathode what is the cathode here the porous carbon it uh, allows the air okay that is the cathode part this is the cell representation of zinc air battery see this is the uh, zinc air battery diagram this is anode so zinc metal this is anode and this is cathode cathode contain pores it allows the air from the much outside environment so it can it is covered with teflon the cathode the cathode what is cathode the porous carbon contain teflon layer this teflon layer allows the teflon layer allows the air inside but it stop the moisture it not allow the moisture inside into the this electrochemical cell what is the use of teflon layer the teflon layer only allows the air it uh, prevents the moisture content okay that is the purpose of the that is the use of teflon layer in the zinc air battery in the zinc air battery what is the anode the zinc metal is the anode 
and the what is the cathode cathode is porous carbon it all porous carbon it contains several uh, several pores and it allows the air teflon layer allows the only air inside to the uh, battery and it uh, prevents the moisture okay the electrode solution here is potassium hydroxide this is the cell reaction it anode what happens it anode oxidation takes place first in electrolyte uh, electrode zinc air battery this is anode what is anode anode is zinc other electrode is porous cat porous carbon it is cathode the electrode solution is koh the koh dissociate into k plus and oh minus the electrode solution dissociate into k plus and oh minus ions it anode what happens it anode oxidation takes place so it anode what is the anode anode is zinc electrode zinc it reacts with 2 oh minus the 2 oh minus comes from the electrode solution the zinc reacts with 2 oh minus hydroxide ions it gives the zinc tetrahydroxy complex the tetrahydroxy zinc complex is formed first zinc anode attack it anode what happens it anode oxidation takes place zinc reacts with hydroxide ions it forms zinc hydroxide complex this zinc hydroxide complex it is unstable it undergoes oxidation it forms zinc oxide and produces water and releases two electrons here two electrons are released so the oxidation takes place at anode this is the oxidation step what is the first step in anode in zinc air battery first the koh the potassium hydroxide solution dissociate into k plus potassium plus and hydroxide ions here it anode oxidation takes place it anode what is the electrode it anode zinc is the electrode the zinc reacts with potassium hydroxide ions it forms zinc hydroxide complex first this zinc hydroxide complex is very unstable it's again decomposes into zinc oxide and water it releases water and again it releases two electrons this is the oxidation step okay what is the oxidation step the zinc convert into zinc oxide and it releases two electrons the net reaction is zinc reacts with it sorry it cathode what happens this is the anodic reaction it anode what happens it anode oxidation takes place it cathode see it cathode what happens it cathode reduction takes place see the diagram see this is the diagram this is the electrode what is porous carbon it is cathode it cathode contains number of pores this pores allow air inside to the battery means in that air uh, oxygen is there carbon dioxide there so many gases are there but in this the oxygen gas is involved in the reactions okay see at cathode what is there at cathode oxygen enters okay this oxygen and this uh, produced water and two electrons reacts together forms hydroxide ions means here electrons are consumed so this process is called reduction at cathode what happens at cathode first at anode what happens at anode water releases and releases two electrons oxidation step in case of cathode what happens at cathode oxygen enters into the battery this oxygen entered oxygen reacts with water and these two electrons form hydroxide ions so here two electrons are consumed so this is step for reduction the oxidation step two electrons are evolved in case of cathode reduction takes place it takes two electrons the net reaction is see how you will get net reaction this two electrons this two electrons get cancelled water water get cancelled and remaining part is zinc reacts with 1 by 2 part of oxygen gives zinc oxide means zinc convert into zinc oxide net reaction is zinc reacts with oxygen and forms zinc oxide okay this is the net reaction involved in the zinc air battery here at anode electrons are produced at cathode electrons are consumed so the electrons flows from anode to cathode in this way the energy the electricity will be produced see advantages of zinc air battery the a zinc air battery is less weight and inexpensive the cost of zinc air battery is very less and weight of the zinc air battery also very less it high energy density it contains zinc air battery contains high energy density the competitive with lithium ion battery the zinc air battery is also competitive with the lithium ion battery it is very safe to use because it does not contain any volatile material lithium ion material contain lithium ion battery contain volatile material it can catches fire sometimes but in case of zinc air battery it will not contain any uh, volatile material so we can use very easily and it is safe to use it is very safe to use 
जिनके एंटीबायोटिक हम फिर भी तो लिथियम आयन बैटरी जिनके आयन बैटरी कंटेन एक्सीलेंट सेल्फ लाइफ एंड सेल्फ डिस्चार्ज रेट इज टू परसेंट पर ईयर द सेल्फ डिस्चार्ज रेट ऑफ जिंक एंड बैटरी इज टू परसेंट पर ईयर इट इज वेरी लेस सो द एक्सीलेंट इट कंटेन एक्सीलेंट सेल्फ लाइफ The disadvantage of zinc air battery. See what are the disadvantages having zinc air battery? Sensitive to extreme temperature and humidity conditions. The zinc air batteries are very sensitive to the humidity conditions and temperature. That's why you have to use Teflon. Teflon will not allow the moisture inside moisture inside to the battery. Okay, that is carbon dioxide form the air forms carbonate which reduces the conductivity of battery. See already I explained. In zinc air battery, this porous allows the air. Air contains oxygen and other gases also. Okay, na that if carbon dioxide is there in that, uh, if carbon dioxide is there in that gas, the carbon dioxide is converted into carbonate. Will it will reduce the conductivity of that battery. So the conductance of the battery will be reduced if carbon dioxide is there in the air. High self discharge after one seal is broken. If one seal we have broken. Then the I discharge takes place in case of zinc air battery. Okay, I self discharge takes place after one seal is broken to the zinc air battery. The zinc air batteries must be larger to satisfy high current needs. If we need high current, so we have to construct the zinc air battery with larger size. If larger size zinc air battery produces large amount of current, according to our need, we have to construct our zinc air battery size. It produces limited output. It produces limited output. When zinc turns into zinc oxide, the battery size expands. In C, we have we have seen the zinc is uh, reacts with the uh, oxygen. It provides zinc oxide. That is the net reaction mode in the zinc air battery. So zinc converts into zinc oxide. So if zinc is uh, oxidized into zinc oxide, then what happens? It turns into zinc oxide. The battery size expands. If zinc converts into zinc zinc oxide, the battery size is, will be expanded. So that that is the disadvantage of the zinc air battery. See applications of zinc air battery. What are the applications we have with the zinc air battery? By using zinc air battery, we can uh, prepare hearing devices. Hearing devices we can use the zinc air battery. In uh, in watches also we can use the batteries for uh, zinc air batteries and mobile phones. In mobile phones also we can use zinc air batteries. And we can prepare military transistors and voice transmitters and digital cameras by using zinc air batteries. With this, I have completed the first module battery chemistry. And uh, next video, I will continue uh, water technology part. See, in this session, what I have covered: what is battery, what is primary battery. Primary battery is nothing but the 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 batteries which are not reach not rechargeable single cycle use. And secondary battery. What is secondary battery? Secondary battery is nothing but we can rechargeable and we can use multi cycle purpose. And I have explained zinc air battery. In zinc air battery, what is anode? Anode is zinc metal. Cathode is porous carbon electrode. And electrode solution is KOS solution. What are the reactions takes place at anode? At anode, oxidation takes place. In that, first zinc reacts with uh, hydroxide ions. Hydroxide ions come from Electrolyte solution KOH. This zinc reacts with KOH or OH minus ions. It produces zinc hydroxide complex. This zinc hydroxide complex is unstable, and again it decomposes or oxidizes into zinc oxide, and it produces water molecules and releases two electrons. That is the oxidation step involved at anode. At cathode, what happens? At cathode. At cathode, what happens? Uh, air is entered into the battery. In air, oxygen is there. That oxygen reacts with This released water and electrons it forms hydroxide ions. Means reduction takes place. At anode oxidation takes place. At cathode reduction takes place. What is the net reaction? The net reaction is zinc reacts with oxygen. It forms zinc oxide. Okay. These are the reactions involved in the zinc air battery. I have, we have seen the advantages. What are the advantages we have seen? And also we have seen the disadvantages of zinc air battery. Okay. And also we have seen the applications of zinc air battery. With this, uh, this with this video. We have completed the module one battery chemistry. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.